Okay, here is the South Monticello campground. Um, and it is, if you give me a second, I can tell you how far away it is from the main campground from my from where I'm staying. I think it's we're gonna find it's pretty far. Please drive to highlighted route. Eleven miles. So it's eleven miles away from the main campground. See, there is a dump station here. Absolutely functional. It's pretty big, there are 50 sites. And you know what? I'm not easily seeing site numbers here at all. I mean, there must be there, and there must be. I see their site five. So the first few I just didn't see. So it looks like they um, pretty much, well, I won't say they all have electric. It's really kind of hard to see, but I imagine most, if not all, have electric. There's a building, a common building there. It's got quite the solar array on it. Well, I'll tell you, th these sites on the right here have a really nice view. A really nice view of the lake. That's site 13. 16 through 21. And I'm betting this is the camp house up here on the side by side. Yeah, absolutely. He's there raking out, raking the site. Sites 22 through 30. I guess these, I would say 22 through 30 are the sites absolutely closest to the lake. Now, whether you can walk down there from here, I'm not sure. It looks like a pretty steep drop off, so I can't tell you for sure. some rain coming in. That should cool things off a little bit. Oh, there's somebody with a real nice looking airstream.
and I would check, but I'm gonna guess there might be showers in there because they're definitely, they're restrooms and it does not look like vault toilets at all. There's a host site, then there's site 38, 39 to the left. There is 40, 41. We're getting to the end here because I know there are only 50 sites. 45. There we go. That is the end of the tour for the South Monticello Campground, part of Elephant Butte State Park. It's, you know, smaller than the main, the main areas and um, I'd say closer to the lake. And let's just shoot through the very nice looking dump station here, two-sided, water. I'd say there are definitely advantages to staying here. One of the disadvantages, it's going to take you a bit longer to get to services, to get to a grocery store, or get into... Walmart or whatever. I think overall my preference would be to be staying where I am. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour.